Welcome back, Flexia family. My name is Jada Ray, and I'm so glad that you joined me for a 30-minute quick mix intermediate workout. Today, all you'll need is your short box, a good attitude, because it's going to get hot and hot fast. Before we get started, don't forget to take a look at the left side of your screen for your recommended spring setting. If you're looking to amp things up a little bit, you're going to press that up arrow, and if you want to dial down, you're going to go ahead and press the down arrow. Today, I'm getting started with one spring on the color orange and a second spring on the color blue on my Flexia, also known as a medium spring and a light spring. Let's get right into it. Meet me on your mat, heels together, toes apart for a roll down. Let's take a nice big inhale and reach those arms all the way up. And on the exhale, you're gonna nod your chin to your chest, start to hollow out through the ribs and round your spine all the way down. Feel a lovely stretch through the back of the legs. Allow the head to become nice and heavy. And let's start to nod saying yes, yes, yes. And shake your head from left to right saying no, no, no. Slowly, with your heels glue gun together, start to float the heels off of your mat. And with your heels lifted, slowly roll your spine all the way up. Lower back first, middle back second, upper back third. Don't let those heels come apart. Reach your arms all the way up. Big smile. Inhale here at the top. And exhale. Let's take it down one more time. Nod your chin to your chest. Round down, working on our balance all the way down. Now, with those heels lifted, let's nod saying yes, shake saying no, and roll it up slow motion. Once you get all the way to the top, reach your arms up one more time, and let's close your eyes. We're here for five. Relax the shoulders, draw the belly in for four. See if you can keep wrapping those inner thighs together. Here's three. We're here for two. And on one, open your eyes. We're ready to rock and roll. We're going to really mix things up in today's class. So today, we're starting off with some standing footwork. I want you to meet me parallel, hip distance apart. You can hold onto your foot bar and use it as a ballet bar if you'd like. All 10 toes flexed forward uh, in front of you here. And let's start by sitting down into an imaginary chair. And then exhale to come right back up. So inhale as you lower down, and then exhale. Try to press into all four corners of your feet as you come up. Nice, strong, firm glutes at the top. Let's go for six more for a total of eight. Here's five. Shoulders are down and back. My arms are not hanging on for dear life. Try to stay light in the fingertips. Here's your last three. You got it. Nice job for two. And I'm sure you guessed what's happening on one. Let's hang down, get down and dirty with me. Hold it here. Slide your spine up an inch. Pop it down an inch. Let's go for eight and seven and six. Make sure those knees are pointing straight forward in line with your second toe for three. Here's two. And that's one. We're heating up nice and fast. Take it nice and wide for me. About the width of your flexi reformer here. Heels angled in, toes turned out. We are in that external rotation, nice and wide. Hold the side ends of your foot bar here. Think of squeezing it together so the upper body is also engaged. We're going to drop it down and then lift it right back up. Now notice, today I'm not getting super fresh, and I want you to get super fresh by sticking your hips back. See if you can keep that spine nice and long, nice and stacked, keeping your pelvis in neutral. We've got five more here. Inhale down. Feel those inner thighs start to work as you stand up nice and tall. Feel the outer thighs start to work as you drop it low. Here's your last three. Here's two, ribs stay nice and narrow, keep the abdominals engaged, and on one, of course, we're staying down below. Do me a favor, lift your right heel, left heel, lower the right, lower the left, switch it. Left heel lifts, right heel lifts, lower the left, lower the right. Keep moving here. Notice if you're getting taller, see if you can drop one more inch closer to the ground, that's it. Beautiful, one more time each direction. Right heel lifts, I got my Jimmy Choo. Left heel lifts, lower and lower, finishing off left rises. Right rises, left lowers, right lowers, and stand up tall. Beautiful work. Let's go ahead and internally rotate those legs here. This might feel a little bit different, but I wanna make sure your hips are nice and warmed up. You're gonna allow your toes to point towards one another as you lower down. 
the knees almost touch, and then we press to open. We're going for eight. Inhale down, exhale to lift. Here's seven. Inhale lower, exhale to lift for eight. Again, getting those abductors, outer glute, outer thigh, and adductors warming up for four more. Here's four. And lift for three. And lift. Here's two. And lift. And by now, you know what's happening. We're staying low here at the bottom. Little pulse up and down. Try to control it. Don't bounce. We've got six. Here's five. Final four. Last three. Here's two. And this is one. Stand it up nice and tall. Go ahead and click your heels together just like Dorothy here. Toes turned out. Heels are in. We're in Pilates V with the heels elevated. This is our last foot position. You can bring your palms to the middle of the foot bar, just about shoulder width apart here. Keeping your heels elevated, we'll lower down. Knees track over your second toe and stand it right back up. We're here for seven more. And here's six. Feel those inner thighs heating up for five. Keep wrapping your rib cage closer together, just like a corset for three. Here's your final two. And one. Hang out with me. Just drop your heels and lift. We've got eight and seven and six. You might have an earthquake moment. Five. Last four. Your final three. Looking straight ahead. Two. And this is one. Stand it up tall. Go ahead and walk your hands towards your couch just to stretch the back of those legs. Hips over your heels. You can give me a little poodle wag here. Release the lower back. And then roll the spine all the way up. We're going to head right to your reformer here. So I want you to meet me side lying. Let's make our transition sexy. Arms up, sit down on your carriage, and then you can place your forearm right up against your shoulder blocks and bend your knees on the carriage here as well. If you prefer to have a platform here to rest your feet, that is totally an option that you can take. I'm going to keep my feet here on the carriage as well. We're going to start off with our clamshell bridge. So feet are connected, knees are touching, hips are stacked, ribs are stacked, and shoulders are stacked. Inhale here, and on your exhale, open up your left knee as you lift your hips, and then inhale to lower down. Let's go for six. And five, really rolling that left shoulder away from your ear, pressing into the forearm. We're warming up our lateral lines here. Here's your final two. And on one, let's just stay up and have some fun. Hold it here. Can you reach your right leg long over the foot bar and pull it in for three? Good. Here's two. And this will be your last one. Hold it long. Maybe stretch the right arm overhead. Just isometric hold, warming up those obliques, your lats, your rhomboids for three, for two, and one, and lower it down. Well done. Go ahead and lay down supine on your back. Roll down, lower, middle, upper. Bring your arches to your foot bar and reach your arms nice and long. If you'd like a little bit of a heavier spring setting here, that's going to support you, but I want you to make sure your headrest is down for safety. We're going to go into articulated bridge, rolling the shoulders back, press the palms down into your carriage, inhale to prepare, and on your exhale, find your pelvic tilt, tucking your tailbone in between your inner thighs as you roll your spine all the way up. Find that length from your shoulders all the way to your knees. See if you can find your straight line here at the top, and then inhale and exhale to reset, lowering your upper back, middle back, and finally your lower back, hip sacrum, tailbone. Let's do two more. Inhale here. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, scoop the belly, and roll the spine up. We are warming up through the spine, working our postural chain, our posterior chain here, the back of your body, and then slowly lower all the way down. Last one, widen up that stance. Inhale through the nose, exhale, tuck your tailbone, roll the hips up, lower middle, upper, Hold it up at the top, press the carriage away, and pull it in. Here's our knee extension for five. Here's four. Think of squeezing your glutes for three. 
Here's your final two. Arms are active. And this is one. Pull the carriage all the way home. And slowly with your exhale, roll your spine all the way down. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and finish off our series on the other side. Roll over to your right hand side here. Right forearm is going to come up against your shoulder blocks. Go ahead and make sure that your shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked, and legs are also aligned with one another. Inhale to prepare, and on your exhale, lift the left knee as you lift the hips and the side of your body off of the carriage. Inhale to lower down. Let's go for six. Beautiful. And five. Nice and strong. So it's really important to work the sides of your body. They actually support your spine. Beautiful. Believe it or not, this is core work. Here's your last four. Exhale as you lift for three. We're down to your last two. And on one, you already know what's happening. We're holding it up on one. Roll the right shoulder away from your ear. Find that lat and go ahead and extend your left leg over the foot bar. Hold and pull it in for three. Here's two. And this is one. You're feeling that glute medius turn on. Reach your left arm up and over. Hold the picture for three, for two, and one. Relax all the way down. Whew, great work here. Let's take a moment to stretch it out. Cross your right ankle over your left knee as you sit up nice and tall. Think about opening that right knee towards the right hand side. And you can rock the shape from left to right. And we'll switch. Left ankle crosses over your right knee for your seated piriformis stretch. Roll the shoulders back, open the chest, sit tall. Try to open up that left knee and then rock the shape from left to right as long as it feels good. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's keep rolling and moving. So from here, let's roll it on back to our backs. Now's actually a great time to elevate your headrest if that feels comfortable for you. I like mine lifted. So we're going to roll it back and reach for the short straps here. We have a little mind-body connection series coming up, so I want you to stay with me, especially those rights and lefts that get us every single time. Join me with your legs in tabletop position. Notice my elbows are down on the carriage. Wrists are directly over my elbows, and my elbows are at 90 degrees. It's one o'clock. That Cabernet is stacked right onto your shins here. Inhale through your nose. On the exhale, you're going to lengthen the right leg as you stretch those arms long and add in your chest curl. Then we reset. You have the option here to rest your head in between each rep or stay lifted if that feels good for you. We're going for three. Beautiful. Here's two, drawing the navel in as that leg lengthens away from your body. Remember, if you're feeling anything in your lower back, go ahead and lift those legs a little bit higher for more support. Now, all I want you to do is reach your arms straight up as you lengthen the legs. These are your tricep taps. The goal is to not let the carriage move here and keep tension in the straps. We're here for three, sliding up and down like a mime, for two, and one more on each side. Ooh, dog, that's it. And rest the head, rest the arms. Let the arms go wide, let the knees hover from side to side to release the lower back. If you didn't notice, that was our single leg stretch variation for today. We're gonna go ahead and migrate over to our double leg stretch variation. So let's start with those knees at tabletop. Reach your arms straight up towards the ceiling. Inhale through the nose, and you're gonna exhale as you curl up, reaching those arms up even higher. Allow the legs to extend, and then exhale to pull the knees in towards your chest. We have six and five. Four, big circles, three, here's two, and one, and relax. 
This is a quick interruption to say that if you like this video, you should check out the Flexio Reformer, a studio grade reformer designed to fit in your home and your life. You'll never wonder how you're doing or what to do next with the award-winning online studio that delivers real-time feedback and after-class report cards. Go to FlexiaPilates.com to learn more. All right, back to your video. Look to the left, look to the right, release any tension that may have connected on the neck. We're moving into a crisscross variation. So I'm going to have you slide your arms through the large loop this time, all the way up by the guns, also known as your biceps. Take your palms behind your head to support your neck here, and go ahead and find that small chest curl. Feet find their way to our tabletop position, and we're going to curl up and rotate towards our right leg. So exhale, curl, stretch your left leg away, and switch, and switch. If you'd like more tension, you can use those short straps. Otherwise, it's a very small movement of the carriage. For two more. And last one on each side. And rest it down. Oh my goodness, check on your six pack. We're almost there, so close yet so far. Reach those arms right back into the short loops to finish off with our circles. We're going to allow your arms to mirror your legs. So start off with both legs reaching long, both arms reaching long as well. We're going to open or abduct the legs and arms and then circle them together. Let's go for three in this direction. And let's reverse the direction for three. Here's two, and this is one. All right, my friends, abs are toasted and roasted. Well done. Hang up your large loops onto your pegs, and then go ahead and curl your feet under your foot bar. Sexy transition your way up, and we're going to head over to grab your short box. So I'm going to step off to my reformer on the right-hand side. Wow, that is a lovely sweat angel there on the carriage. Go ahead and place your short box right alongside where the springs connect, slightly forward on the carriage here. And just make sure that your box is on a surface where it will not slide around on the floor. Go ahead and take off your blue spring or your medium spring on your flexia. And you're going to reach for the large loop to get started. All right, I told you today was full body work, so I hope you're ready here. Notice your feet are going to be standing parallel, hip distance apart, all 10 toes facing straight forward in front of you, making the number 11. You're going to start off with your row to squat. So I want you to send those hips back just like we practiced with our standing footwork as you pull your left elbow back. Extra brownie points if you drop it like it's hot all the way to the box and then stand it up nice and tall. Remember, you can always migrate to the short loop if you'd like for a little bit more resistance. We're going for three more here. Now do me a favor. Just flirt with the box. Don't hang out and have coffee. We're coming right back up. Last two. And on one, I want you to stay nice and low. One inch above the box. Rotate as you pull the strap. Good. We're here for three more. Here's two. Can you get lower? And here's one. And stand up nice and tall. Gorgeous. Slide back to the large loop. If you're not there already, we're going to focus on that upper body. I gave you a little warning here with the gun show. We're getting into the biceps. So again, I want you to get nice and low towards your box. You're going to take your right palm and hook it directly underneath that left elbow just to prop it up. Give me a nice bicep curl. We're going for six. Here's five. Keep that elbow lifted for four. Here's your final three. If you need to walk a little closer for less resistance, that's an option. And this is your last one. Can you hold that curl? Get a little bit lower, 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 lower. Hold it for three, for two, and one. Stand tall. Whew. Nice work. We're still working on this side of the reformer. You're going to turn and face your box. 
And for this specific exercise, you might want to push your box away just a tiny bit more, just so you have enough resistance as we get into the next exercise. Go ahead and grab a hold of your large loop. I want you to work the balance here, but safely. So place your left palm onto the box, and then step your right foot into that strap and face your heel directly up to the sky. Make sure your hips are nice and square. Softly bend your left knee. Put some tension in the strap and smile as we get into the hamstrings. Go ahead and try to curl the hamstring, bringing your heel towards your glute. We're going for four more here. Shoulders are down and back for three. Exhale, here's two. Here's my earthquake. Last one. Hold the heel towards your seat. Keep squaring off the hips. Can you give me a little more tension into the strap? For five, for four, here's three, last two, and one. Slowly bring the carriage all the way home and safely remove the strap. Whew. Take a second to sh shake it out. Let's meet on the carriage here just for a little transition. Bring both palms to the foot bar. Send your heels towards the shoulder block and send those hips forward for a nice little chest opener. Press the carriage away, keeping the hips open and then slowly come home. I want you to think of the exercise swan as you send the carriage back and then draw the navel in to close the carriage. See if you can keep your hips from flexing. We'll go for our last two. You know I'm gonna give you a surprise on the last one. And last one, you're gonna hold the carriage out, halfway out, without letting the carriage move. Five Pilates push-ups. Surprise, we go for five. Elbows are narrow for four. Good, here's three. Eyes in line with your spine for two. Keep your head up and your crown on. Last one, hold it halfway. Here's three. Here's two. Relax those shoulders. And one, sit back on your heels. Take your well-deserved stretch. And it is time to do it all again on the other side. So safely, very carefully, you're going to stand up your box, move your mat to the other side. This is like a nice little recovery break here as we get ourselves set up. So you're welcome for that. And then grab your box and place it right back onto the mat as well. Again, be safe. You're going to set that box up right in line with your springs, just like before. And we get to do this all again from the other side. So grab a hold of your right large loop or short loop. Remember, you have that option. Left arm is reaching forward, feet are parallel, hip distance apart. If you're out of breath, I'm right there with you. Here we go, we have six rows to squat. Bring it down and slowly standing up nice and tall. Now remember, you're staying tall, just like we prepped for with our footwork. We're going for four more. I want you to exhale to row, and then inhale, stand up. Two, and one's where we get nice and low. Reach that left arm forward as you rotate your torso, and then slowly return the strap. Exhale, pull, inhale, slowly return. Notice as you rotate, your hips are quiet. They were not invited. Just the torso is mobilizing. For two, get lower. Last one, beautiful and stand it up nice and tall. Let's go into our bicep curls. Welcome back to the gun show here. We're gonna start off by getting nice and low towards the box. Set the left palm underneath your right elbow here to keep it lifted and then curl. I don't know what, I decided to use the short loop. I guess my right side is stronger. We're going for three more, find that control. Here's your last two, get a little lower. And last one, hold it, flex on them for three, for two, and one, return the arm and stand up tall. Well done. We are at the home stretch, my friend. Go ahead and turn to face your box. Here's where you might inch that box up forward just a tad bit more for a little bit more 
um, resistance and tension into the strap. Safely, right hand to the box first. And then you're going to go ahead and step your left foot into your large loop. Point that loop up towards the ceiling. Let me inch my box further forward. And you're going to go in for that hamstring curl. So first things first, square off your hips, soft bend in your standing leg, press in towards the strap, exhale to bring the heel towards the seat. We have six. Exhale for five. Here's four. Last three. Final two, drawing the belly in as you curl. And one, hold it. Hold the tension in the strap. Hold it for five. For four, don't let that carriage come home. Three, here's two. And one, slowly return the carriage all the way home. Carefully remove your left foot out of the strap. Hang it up. And we can start to cool down together. Well done. We'll keep the spring change, spring setting the same here. Excuse my words. Carefully step your weight into the well, facing your shoulder blocks for a nice restorative stretch before we end with legs and straps. So palms come to your shoulder blocks here. Hips are directly overneath the heels of your feet. Roll your shoulder blades down and back. Exhale to cat the carriage towards your shins. Be gentle, don't crush into your body. And then inhale, open the chest as you slowly release the carriage. Exhale, round your spine, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, lift the chest. We're going for three more. This should feel really good. I don't want you to work too hard. We already did the hard work. Here's your last two. And one, hold the carriage forward, let the head drop, shake it out here, and then inhale, slowly return. Very nice job. We're gonna continue our stretch using the carriage here. Carefully step out. Slowly coming down to your reformer here. And let's go ahead and add that blue spring back on. So we're back to our medium and light spring tension. I'm going to keep that headrest up as I roll back. And then let's go ahead and put our feet into the loop. So grab a hold of the large loops with your dominant hand. Draw the belly in. Bring your feet to tabletop position. Slide the palm forward. And then thread your feet into the bunny loops here as you send both legs up towards the sky. Allow your tailbone to be heavy. See how far your legs can come forward over your chest without letting your tailbone lift. See if you can actually accent the tailbone down and really open up the back of your legs. Just hang out here for a moment. Allow your toes to drop towards your face slightly, and then drawing the belly in and closing your ribs on the carriage, start to lower your legs down with control. Beautiful, and float right back up. So today we're going super slow with our legs and straps, our lift and lower. I really want you to focus on the length in the back of the legs because trust me, honey, you're going to feel it tomorrow <laughs> or maybe right now. <laughs> Let's go for two more. And last one. We'll meet at 45 degrees. Draw the heels together, toes apart for your frog here. Heels glue gun together as the knees open up the width of the shoulders, and then press the feet away. Reach on your own diagonal, somewhere where you still find a challenge and you're able to connect to your pelvic floor. We'll go for three. Here's two. And on one, let's start to flesh out the legs with some circles. Keep your feet parallel, the legs lower down. They come out, around, and up. Your circles don't have to be big, but they have to be well controlled. See if you can keep your feet parallel even as your circle widens. Naturally, they want to externally rotate. We'll stay here for three. Here's two. 
And on one, pause at the top. Go ahead and reverse the direction of the circle. Notice if your knees are starting to hyperextend. See if you can soften them just a little bit. And we'll go for our final four. Here's three, breathing, moving slow, two, and here is your last one. Well done. Float both legs up towards the sky, grab where the rope doubles, and pull those elbows down, keeping your legs long as your heels flex towards the sky and your toes come towards your face. This is your dorsiflexed foot, and then you're going to point the toes up towards the ceiling, for your plantar flex foot. Go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together. Press all the way down to the carriage. Let the spine relax, the hips open. And let's take two deep breaths together. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And one more time, inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Beautiful. Slowly allow the feet to come closer in towards your chest. Grab that dominant hand. Grab the hold of the loops and slide your feet out of the bunny ears here. Now here's our even sexier transition as we wrap up class. See if you can lengthen your legs over the foot bar and roll yourself up into sitting. Swivel off the reformer. Stand up taller and stronger and a whole lot sweatier than when we first started. Let's go heels together, toes apart, reach the arms all the way up. And exhale, nod and curl all the way down. Let the head become heavy. Arms are loose. Nod saying yes, shake saying no. Heels lift one final time. And with your heels lifted slowly, roll your lower back up. Middle back up. Upper back up. Last thing to come up. Shoulders, neck, head. Reach those arms up. Find your balance. Bring the palms in front of your heart. Melt your heels down. Give yourself a round of applause. Awesome work today. Thanks for joining me for your quick mix 30 minute intermediate workout. I had such a blast before leaving class today. Don't forget to check on the My Results tab down below for your MQS score. Remember the goal is always to stay between 50 and 80. Can't wait to see you in the next class. Bye.